Here's how you can run a full funnel digital marketing campaign in minutes across Google Display, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. I created nine campaigns in just a few minutes and we got leads in as little as six hours. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, with Play, it's super easy because all we're doing is that we're just adding a prompt inside of Play, which is powered by ChatGPT and OpenAI to create ads across over eight different platforms. We have YouTube, Snapchat, TikTok, LinkedIn, Google search, there's there's so many platforms. And it's it's honestly pretty fun to do this because not only do we make it easy for you or for your clients to create ads, we also give you a head start and try to get you better performance. Um, so not only are we creating a full funnel marketing campaign here, but we're also setting ourselves up to scale because we're running pure A-B tests across these different platforms. So let's get into it. We're gonna select Facebook ads. We're gonna add play.io. Just copying the link, opening the dropdown for the chat GPT open AI integration. This is just going to be a very generic prompt. And we're going to add play as the name of it. And we're going to add marketing app for running ads with AI. Tap generate description to create the prompt template that we already have created for you. We're just going to tap generate content now because because this looks pretty good. This is again, finishing out the prompt with the chat GPT integration um, and open AI integration that we have. Right now, this is already creating all of the ad copy across any connected platforms. It's recommending the creative, the targeting and everything uh, for us just from the prompt. So you don't need to figure out Facebook ads anymore, TikTok ads, LinkedIn ads, Snapchat ads. All we're doing here is prompting. So we can see the ad text already being created for us right here. Some videos from Shutterstock will already be brought in. I kind of focused it a little bit more on AI right here. So these are the videos being brought in, but like if you did this even for garage doors or tree cutting or moving service or chiropractic or real estate, you'd see videos there with our integration with Shutterstock. So we can already see our targeting recommended here for reaching new users. I'm just gonna go with this targeting. This is what was recommended. Here's all the ad text written for us right here. Um, I think this ad text looks pretty good. Uh, we'll also have it like at times with emojis or line breaks and we're doing lead ads for this example. So I'm just going to create my lead form right here, but you can also select an existing lead form that might already be mapped back to GHL. But before that, we're going to kind of update our creative. So I'm just going to upload um, one of our images here that I just created from Shutterstock. So I'll just remove these. We'll go over to images and we're just going to upload the image. So I just designed this on Canva um, in maybe five minutes or something. Um, we're not doing something where this is like, you know, you have a whole team. I'm just doing this by myself. I'm doing exactly like what you would do or others would do. And, you know, I just created this again on Canva, this graphic. Um, let me, I'm going to choose another one right here. Okay, so this is the other one that I made. I think this one really kind of just tells exactly what's going on in this ad. Um, we can see the graphic right here and how it's looking. This is some of the ad text. Uh, you can create the lead form right here. You can add anything that you want, first name, last name, city, state. This is just a very simplified lead form. Um, you can map it back in go high level. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download the lead list and that's pretty much it. I mean, this doesn't need to be with how we're doing this. You don't need to have like an A plus plus funnel. If you do, you're going to be crushing it, but you know, I'm just doing it with like maybe a C plus sort of funnel right here and just showing you how easy this is. So I just created the lead form. And again, like we got leads. It could have even been sooner than six hours. If I did, I just launched these at night. Um, you know, and targeting United States. So, you know, if it was during the day, could have even come sooner for some of our leads that came in. Uh, we're going to look here at some of the targeting, just review some things real quick. Uh, again, we recommend all of these options for you, but you're still in control. You can still make edits as you see fit. There's retargeting, which I'll get into. There's look like audiences and more, but I'm just going to, you know, just target United States for this ad. Um, you can also do radius targeting, you know, for your clients or local business here. This is optional. 
Uh, I'm just going to keep it pretty broad because the algorithm will eventually find the right audience um, for me. Um, and we'll just tap create uh, after we added the budget and launch the ad. So we have Facebook down targeting new people, really kind of building out the top of the funnel. Uh, I'm going to do a few more new people uh, campaigns and then we'll get into some retargeting as well. So we don't have a leaky bucket. You can do all this work to target, you know, the best audience at the top. Um, but then if you don't have your retargeting set up at the bottom, you're just going to have people stuck in your funnel. Um, just because I already have a rectangle image, I'm going to go into Canva in a little bit and actually uh, update the square image. So I'm just going to upload my rectangle image right here. And again, like this is just an image that I created uh, in Canva in about 10 minutes, but it's something that stops scrolling. People instantly get what's happening and um, it, it looks pretty cool. Okay. So we're just going to go rectangle. We'll also do some ads in a little bit where we uh, do videos as well. So this primary text was already written for us, headlines, descriptions. Um, this looks good. I'm not even going to touch it. Again, once you add the prompt into one platform, it automatically saves it into any connected platform. So you can just switch into any of these platforms and your ads are already built for you from that one prompt that we entered. Even though we just did on Facebook, it's already been applied to every other platform. Here, uh, for targeting, I'm actually going to go job title targeting um, for LinkedIn and really focus on marketing managers, marketing directors, uh, digital marketing folks. Um, so I'm doing job title based targeting on LinkedIn. And yes, LinkedIn is more expensive, but honestly, you get what you pay for. Um, Facebook doesn't have job title targeting for many niches now. They, they removed that a little bit ago, actually a while ago. Um, but, you know, LinkedIn is very targeted and especially if you have a B2B tool, I think it works well. Uh, LinkedIn is, you know, growing as a platform too. They've really put a focus on their creators. So I've been seeing more people looking for educational content more and more on LinkedIn versus just kind of in the past, they went there to get a job um, or just look for a job or something. LinkedIn is much more of an educational platform now. I'm also just going to add chief marketing officer right here. So, um, you know, you can, you can also target certain companies if you want. And if you do both those, you'll be layering the ad targeting for like head of digital at Apple or head of digital at Netflix. You can target companies or you can do either or. So I'm just going to add a but $20 a day budget and just launch the ad. So we already have LinkedIn done and we have Facebook lead ads done all within the same platform. Like, I don't know how many of you have actually, you know, launched ads on these different platforms, but you're going to have like 12 tabs open doing all this stuff here. We're able to launch ads across any of these platforms um, in a matter of, you know, seconds for certain platforms. Okay. Now what we're doing is that we're going to do a Google display campaign because Google display um, the Google Display Network has close to, I have to, I have to double check this, but I think they have a network close to 30 million sites and business insiders in there, weather.com, ESPN, you've probably seen ads on the side of websites before. That's what Google Display is. So it's image based and think of it like Facebook, but it's much more contextually relevant because we're targeting topics, keywords that actually include, um, some of the targeting that was recommended for us. So here, a square image is recommended. So here's where I'm actually going to go in to Canva. Just hit the resize button. Okay. So we have the square image now from Canva. We're just going to upload it. And we're just going to do the square one that I made and the rectangle. And again, this is creating hundreds of ad combinations with all these headlines and descriptions. And this is all from that one prompt. Like, I'm just going to go with this ad text right here. And these are some of the uh, topics and keywords that we will be showing uh, next to popular blog articles when people are looking at top marketing tools or they're looking at um, anything related to this, artificial intelligence even. Um, here, we're just gonna target United States again. Optional agent gender targeting. I'm just gonna do this at $10 a day and we're just gonna launch this Google Display ad. So we already have LinkedIn, Facebook, Google Display.
Okay, now we're going to go back to Instagram because we have that square image. Um, what we have coming soon is the ability to launch Facebook with Instagram in the same flow. But actually, these platforms are very, very different. So this is like kind of a pro move to be able to have these segmented out. So you're just running Facebook or you're just running Instagram. These are actually very, very different platforms. So it's good to kind of see and break out like is Instagram doing better for me or is Facebook doing better for me? So again, I'm just going to upload the image right here. What we also have coming very soon is an AI ad image creator. Selecting an existing lead form. And we're just going to tap create at $10 a day for Instagram. Okay, so we have Instagram, Google Display, LinkedIn, Facebook. I actually did one, um, you know, probably yesterday for TikTok. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that one again. So here we can click into some of the results already and kind of just see like creating your ads, checking if your ads are approved. We'll show a check mark if the ads are actually approved. Um, you can come in here and edit ads, parts of your ad at any time. And we're going to go ahead and create some retargeting campaigns now. So back here on the home screen, uh, I'm just going to go back to the connect screen right here and change our goal type because we're doing some retargeting campaigns now. So we don't want to do leads for retargeting. Like we already, um, what we're trying to do is like reach these people, have them come back to our site. We can do conversion based campaigns here where they're actually doing some specific event on your website, or you can do traffic um, right here. This is really good for retargeting. Um, you're going to be able to reach a lot of people get them to your site, people who have already engaged with you. Because remember, it takes an average of seven different interactions with your brand before someone buys. No one gets married, barely anyone gets married on the first date. Um, that's kind of what's happening here. So again, we just added that prompt one time. So all these ads are still here waiting for us to launch them. I just selected retargeting here. I have all of these lists that we could do. Uh, I'm just going to do new web visits. Uh, this is an audience of people who have come to the site in the last 30 days or so. You can also just in a tap, create an audience of anyone who's engaged with you on Facebook or Instagram. It doesn't require any pixel. So you can also do that if you want, but we're good here. Uh, $10 a day budget set. So now we have a retargeting campaign on Instagram, um, just like that. So we kind of already closed the funnel a little bit on Instagram. We have ads reaching new people. We have ads, um, going to people who just went to the site because we also launched, uh, these traffic campaigns that are going to the site with these people. Um, so this, this is how you do it. So that's to do this at scale. This would take pretty long time to do. Now, one of my favorite retargeting uh, platforms is Google display here. You can select your different audiences that we pull in uh, automatically from Google ads. So you can select an existing audience right here. So I have all of these audiences already built, uh, And we have $10 a day and we're just going to launch this ad. So now we have retargeting campaigns set up to even reach people who were on Facebook, who we targeted on Facebook. We can now even reach them on Google display because we're sending people to the site with some of our traffic and conversion pains and conversion pains uh, campaign <laughs> and with some of our conversion and traffic campaigns that we just created too. So this is kind of cleaning up that funnel and we're able to reach people on Facebook, on Google and around the internet. And here we could just see all of our campaigns that we've created. And I just clicked into one of these. I just clicked into one of these ads on LinkedIn and it's actually already running. Like that was within five minutes. These ads already are getting clicks. And like some people say, um, you know, I mean, that's a very low cost per click. Like some people are saying that even some cost per clicks on LinkedIn are two or $3, but here we have 35 clicks for $12. I mean, that's a crushing benchmarks already out the gate. And we just launched this maybe, you know, like two minutes ago, this ad's already live and running on LinkedIn. And a lot of the times like image ads do get approved faster and they run faster because it's easier for review processes uh, for images. So videos might take a little bit longer. 
And also if we just go into LinkedIn ads manager, I mean, we can see, you know, some of the ads as well. So you can just see these ads right within your ad account as well. So this ad 31 cents cost per click on LinkedIn, you know, sometimes these clicks average out at like three or $4, but I mean, we're getting under a dollar cost per click here it, within basically 10 minutes. So that's what we're doing. We're really helping you focus and give you a head start, beat your competition with some of the settings and best practices that we include in these ads. So we already have 40 people who are marketing in the marketing roles, digital marketing uh, directors, marketing directors, chief marketing officers. So um, these are very targeted people coming to the site. And what we're doing, what we're doing is that we're actually targeting them again, because they're coming to the site, we're actually reaching them um, with our some of our retargeting campaigns. So we're targeting on Instagram, retargeting on Facebook, retargeting on Google Display. They're just going to be hit everywhere. <laughs> so that's how you kind of close out the funnel with uh, by doing this. But we're going to go ahead. Um, we're also going to do a retargeting campaign on Facebook as well. So I'm just going to do a video um, for this. What videos are good at, especially if you're doing retargeting, is that it kind of gives people that more more information they need to like seal the deal. So that's what this video is doing right here. Boom, confirm. And again, everything else was already saved. So I'm just tapping confirm. Because we captured their attention with an image, it's good to like use a different creative that they might recognize, but make it a video. So this is one of the videos that we have. This is also available in your resource center. So what we're also going to do here is run a video ad for new people too, because I also want to test and see is Im our images going to do better or our video is going to do better. And so I'm just going to select a, a video that I already have in Facebook ads, but you can just upload your own video. So we're just going to select that video and run that ad just to test to see what what's performing better images or videos. And we can just scale that it's marketing isn't Magic, digital marketing is not magic. It's just a lot of different testing. That's what this tool really allows you to do. And when you find the right, uh, you find the right conversion rate, you find the right cost per lead, that's where we have the option for you just to tap a button and scale your budget. So it's super easy. This video is also available right in the resource center. So everyone, like I'm not, you know, spending thousands of dollars on creative here to make this work. I'm just selecting a video that, you know, I made with AI and I kind of just screen recorded it. This is like a pure AB test. Everything else is the same. Like it's very hard to run pure AB tests and remember like, who are you targeting? Um, you know, what is your ad text? Like you have to copy all that into different ad sets, into different ad groups. It's super complicated to create a pure AB test in these platforms. Um, so here we go. We just create another LinkedIn video ad this time. These black bars just are on the preview. It'll look perfect. It won't have those black bars. This is just kind of how we preview it. So I launched these again, these ads at 1030 at night on Tuesday to the United States when everyone was, you know, still sleeping. But I wake up at like seven in the morning um, to see leads already coming in for a cost per lead on Instagram of just $3. And we're selling this product for $97 a month. So we already have leads coming in for $3. This can enter your marketing system, your marketing funnel, or you can just download this list of leads here and I'll download these and I'll show you um, who these are. But like we already have one lead on Facebook, one lead on Instagram. And here's here are the two leads uh, that we have already. So we you can, you know, add these into high level if you map the, map the form back. OK, so created time. Um, one came in at three forty. OK, in the morning, so. I guess just five hours. So we have leads within five hours uh, coming to the platform, people who never knew this business. This is from one of the new new user campaigns. This isn't from uh, the retargeting campaign because that's what really like what lead ads are good for is for new people. You don't want to run retargeting campaigns just to get their lead. So let's take a look at some of these results and see how they're performing on day two. So we'll check the Facebook ad. 
we can see we've spent $31, nine leads, cost per lead of under $4, and we're selling this product for, you know, $1,000 for the year. Click-through rate looks really good, above benchmarks. This campaign's already looking really good, and it's continuing to scale. So let's take a look at LinkedIn now. So we can see already 98 clicks with $40 ad spend. I mean, that cost per click is in the 40 cent range. Global average cost per click on LinkedIn is over $2, sometimes three, four, five dollars $5. So we're already doing better on LinkedIn. Let's take a look at Google Display now. So these are already below benchmarks and everything for Google Display. This is doing well here. Click-through rate is always naturally lower on Google Display, but that click-through rate is also looking good for Google Display. So this campaign is ready to go still. It's still scaling. Now let's take a look at Instagram. And we can see we already have four leads on Instagram for a cost per lead of $3, so or close to $4. Click-through rate is looking really good. Cost per click is looking good. So like already, this is why we broke it out and separated between Facebook and Instagram, because now I can see Instagram is looking a lot better at a cost per lead basis. And I might pause my Facebook ad and move that budget over to Instagram. You wouldn't have known that if you just launched these two, if you, if you launched these two platforms together, because they're actually very different platforms. So now let's take a look at some of our remarketing campaigns. Now, because this is our own custom audience, we're getting cost per clicks on Facebook for about two cents here, which is pretty crazy. Um, we've only spent $20, but we have, you know, over a thousand clicks for this retargeting campaign. So, I mean, you, you already pretty much know this is doing very well at just getting people to the site again, getting them to book meetings. And it's hard to track exactly all these meetings from these campaigns, but my, camp my calendar has just been blowing up especially in these last two days since I've uh, launched these campaigns for booking meetings. Uh, same thing here for the retargeting audience on Facebook. This is looking very good too. A click-through rate of over 10% on Facebook. I mean, this is just, it's, it's looking really good on here. And again, I just added the prompt, that's it. So this campaign is looking really good. Massive amount of clicks here too. I'll make some other videos like this for YouTube, TikTok, uh, other platforms, but I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe.